Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave Keith. This is Avernus Bike and Lifestyle. Now, definitely another strong coffee day today. I just gone 5 a.m. on Sunday morning. This is my third car boot of the week. It was actually a local one uh, yesterday, which I didn't film up. It was the first time ever that boot sale was on uh, just outside of Chorley. And I must say, the, that organisation was tremendous. Uh, what impressed me the most about it was probably the fact that it didn't actually open till 10 o'clock. So uh, there was a great opportunity for a lie-in. And I do like my lie-in. But sadly, that one's only on once a month, so uh, definitely, definitely check it out. It's well worth it. For the, it was a really impressive turnout for uh, for the first time it had been on. Uh, it's at uh, Park Hall, which um, a lot of you may know uh, used to be the site of the old Camelot theme park. It's on, on the first Saturday of every month, uh, kickoff, let's like say, 10 o'clock, so check it out, guys. So enough waffle off to my favorite car boot first time this year it's been on obviously because of the relax and the restrictions of uh, lockdown so let's get over to southport and see what we can find let's go How much you got on that one? Um, it's a fiver for that Fortnite Monopoly. No worries, we did a three. Sorry, what? Did a three. Two for four, loss. Yeah, okay. what? Look at these three. For a fiver each, then. Th th them, them, ones and them, them ones, because they're brand new, and them's four, 14. Yeah. It's 12 for the three. No way, score out of them. It's early, I know. <laughs> Can't be taking bids early, can you? <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, it's, I, I don't mind. It, it, it depends what it is, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, You haven't got any Doc Martins, have you? No. Smash in. Thanks, Thanks a lot, a pal. Lot. Have Thank a good day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Five, seven, seven, yeah. Where you got them? Pay six to for them, I'll no, that's crazy. Six to for them. Six to I've got a five in my hand. Take that. Nice, a good man. Cheers. Have a good day, bud. Cheers. How much you got in your cards against humanity, pal? Just say some more yourself. This is a daily argument I have. <laughs> and you don't want to get rid of it? Do you know how much it costs? No idea. I'll take it on before. It's about £30 a set and there's four sets in that. Yeah. The box on it's all 20 quid. I only want 20 quid for it. But people seem to be offended by the price. I don't think they know yeah. what they're buying. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's probably too hard for me. Good luck to you anyway, pal. Good day. Someone don't like your one. <laughs> <laughs> How much have you got in your boggle? Three quid. You did two? You did two, yeah. Nice one, thank you. Got right money as well. Fantastic, thank thanks you. so much. Cheers. Thank you. Have a good day. There you go, love. I'm sorry. No, you're all right, James. Twenty-one so far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
How much have you got in your tab right up on? 20. I did 10 with you. No, nah, no worries. You go ask, can you? Yeah. <laughs> and it's about that, like this. Three pounds. Yeah. What have you got in your stereo, pal? Pardon? What's on the stereo? How much? Yeah. 40. That's the lowest you got on it. 35. The 30. No, it's fine, yeah. It, it was, it, I must have early days yet as well, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> It's not a USB one, it's just an ordinary one. Yeah, yeah. I, I just recognise it. I've, I've had something like that in the past. Yeah. Recognised it. It's, uh, it like? I didn't recognise the, uh, the brand. Just have a look at those. £150 they ought to buy. £10 on your side. £10 on your side. £10 on your side. Do you like... Um, Doc Martens? They're not Doc Martens, those. Oh. They're not Doc Martin size. Oh no, they're not the ones, they're the no. other ones there. So all done and dusted and it's just before 8am. It has to be said that it, for this car boot, which is normally absolutely massive, it's called the giant car boot, so um, it was actually quite quiet today, which considering it's the uh, the first day back after lockdown, it's is quite surprising, but still some good pickups and some interesting pickups as well. So I'm going to get it all home and as per usual, go through it and tell you how much it's going to be getting listed for. And while I still remember this time, big shout out to Steve and all the other subscribers that I bumped into today. Hi guys, hope you had a storming day despite it being the field only being half full. Now, despite the diet, I might stop for a cheeky Mackey's on the way home, so uh, let's rock and roll. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, uh, what I'm going to do is put a total price on this rather than uh, tell you what I paid from individually. Uh, basically, the reasoning behind that is obviously the price is a subjective. So just because this is what I paid for these items, it doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're going to be able to find them for. So today's total spend was a uh, hundred and five pound. Um, what I'm going to do is strap the GoPro to my head and go through what we've got. Okay, so the, even though there's not so much really, we've got quite a good mix of, of bits and pieces. Uh, first up, we've got this super dry coat women's uh, size medium um it could probably do with the trip through the washing machine but uh, there's no damage and no excessive wear that is going to be getting listed for 25 pound next up a coat that uh, i've never come across this brand before it's ice peak i c e p e a k uh, size 36 it's a lovely coat actually i, I it caught my eye because it, it the quality of it the quality feel it looks very smart so this will be getting listed for 28 pound now this is a, probably a fail of a day. I just grabbed it because I've sold countless boggles in the past and they've always been a quick seller. Paid just two pound for this. It's an electric uh, electronic version of boggle and this will be getting listed for 10 pound. Now some board games now, good solid pickup. Not all Trivial Pursuits are, are, are worth anything and some of the older ones are too heavy uh, to warrant them having much profit in at all. But uh, Trivial Pursuit Family Edition, this is a good solid seller. And when I looked in it, I noticed a couple of the packs are sealed as well so nice and uh, minty fresh very little use to it at all so that's a good solid 12 pound listing next up monopoly Fortnite. Th these have come down in value for the used ones just recently i think probably because of the availability but still that's a good 10 pound listing uh, so I, I always like picking up older scrabbles but this is definitely one that's on the bolo list uh the scrabble deluxe uh, with the one with the electronic timer, it's a big square box. There is a version, a, a 
platinum version of this as well but believe it or not just for a, a, a standard scrabble game with the electronic timer the listing value on this is 45 to 50 pound next up electronics pick up this is a very smart looking uh, samsung 3d blu-ray player i did actually pay up a little bit for this one the model is the bd c6900 it's obviously set up for home theater connections as well but still even though i paid up it certainly wasn't uh, too scary and that's a good 40 to 50 pound listing i'm a single biggest purchase of the day the eden blighton books i really do like selling these um because some of them uh, i've been when i've sold them in the past people have got in contact to tell me a little bit about the story about why they wanted that particular book and it was really sweet actually so the guy was uh, obviously trying to give me a, an individual price i think he wanted two or three pound each for these um but i put in a bid of 50 quid which he accepted for the lot so i haven't actually counted these but i'm i'm, I'm guessing there's going to be probably 60 70 books in here there's a couple that aren't seen the blighton noddy books old noddy books and whatnot but there's some, a good selection of old vintage uh, m mostly the vast majority of arena black and books in here and the listing value on these uh a four to four to eight pound some of them are in a bit ropey condition but um you tend to find that people uh, that, that buy these books uh, are buying them because of the books that they had as kids and uh, it's the nostalgia thing obviously the newer versions the, the, the newer releases of the Enid Black and books as well with it so watch out for the the old ones they tend to fetch a higher value I've, I've, I've undervalued that price range probably at uh, four to eight pound a piece but the vast majority of them will be uh, large letter, so dead cheap to post as well. And a really, really easy listing, and they don't not taking that much space, and they trickle out very, very nicely. Now finishing up with four pairs of trainers. First up, the uh, sketches. The the model on these are the Go Walk Fours. They're an adult size nine need a bit of cleaning up but they're in good overall condition listing value for those 20 pounds now these uh, again i've sold lots and lots of boxing boots particularly adidas ones these are more of a junior size and um, they're, they're still adult size but uh, they're a size seven these straps were a brucey bonus as well and then see those in there again listing value on these 20 pound i think it did chap said uh, they'd only been worn once and by the condition of them i believe him next up some good looking converse i mean I, i'm sort of kind of falling out of love with converse a little bit at the minute because they're so readily available but these were very eye-catching they're a really nice boot again you're looking for the chuck taylor converse chuck taylor they're like a canvas a mottled gray probably more suitable for the ladies uh, at a size five but a bit of a wipe down and they'll look minty fresh and last but not least these are nike air 270s adult size 11 again very good condition little wear a little bit of a, a wipe down and again they're good to go listing value on those 30 to 40 pound now all of these prices I've put on these items are going to be plus postage and what I've done for the grand total is take when it, where I've estimated a price range I'm going to use the lowest end of the price range and as far as the books are concerned I'm just going to assume that there's 50 in a box just to make sure that my estimate my grand total estimation is way way in the comfortable low end so this is a figure I'm comfortably expecting to make so as I said, a total spent today £105 and the total listing value is going to be £465. So I've had better days from the Bursko Kind booth, for, to be honest, but I mean, there's certainly nothing to grumble at. I think what I'll be doing this week is backpedalling a little bit as far as purchasing stocks concerned because I've got an unbelievable amount to list and it's getting to the stage now where I'm struggling for room and my goods in a bit of my stock room. Clearly, that's a really nice problem to have, particularly after the very lean months we've had during lockdown but i'll keep you guys updated on sales and how it's going i'll still highly likely be getting it out again next weekend like like people have been doing yesterday was at the chorley uh, car boot and obviously today at bursco people have been coming up to me saying hi if they subscribe to the channel more than happy to give you a mention or even include you in the video if you want so don't be afraid to come and say hello if you see him in the field. I hope you guys have an absolutely tremendous week and you totally smash it. Thanks very much indeed for watching the video, guys. Uh, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.